Yipes, I think Yipes has to be paired with the right person. Yeah. It's just, it's just from his style, he's too unique. If that yeah, makes, yeah, if that really makes, if yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, any yeah. sense. So you gotta have a good guy to pair him up with. Okay, oh, here we go. The nuke, um, the the DK. Okay. No, um, the nuke on the Krom, Shine on the DK. Uh, Wow! Oh, I mean, oh, okay, on the DK. Okay, quick, okay, quick steer to death already. We <laughs> might we, we might see him off the DK very soon. <laughs> Looking really grim for the monkey here. Yo, man, even even J Max shakes his head when he sees DK. Like, he knows, man. Like this character ain't what it used to be. <laughs> oh man! I mean, before um, in, the, in the matchup, it used to be it's like okay, a, sor a sortie misspaces something, I power shield, I power yeah. I power grab, and then all of a sudden you're taking 70. But that's not quite the case anymore. DK more of like. I want to say he's kind of like a Zord, sword character, only because he has those long arms, he's got that intangibility on them, and he's got those juggles and stuff like that. Oh, he could be going for the 50-50. Does it call it the jump? No, he just immediately comes back on the stage. He actually missed that because of a certain percent that 50-50 for DK where you get the squeeze, and you go for the forward, and that will work. Mm -hmm. But if you don't get it, you do actually risk SD yourself. Yeah, so. but against characters with uh, really bad recoveries like Richter, it can kill as early as yeah. 30 if you get the right angle on it. I'm not so sure about Krom because if he air we saw what Mr. R could do, he like air dodges and then saves his jump and then comes back from really low. Yeah. So it's oh. possible, but the pivot forward smash is looking like Nuke's first game. Great return on that forward smash immediately coming up from the Nuke. Alright, he comes back to the ledge. Shine, come on, Ash. I like this. When you, when you talk about it, right, some classic DK stuff. Oh, and he gets the upper indeed. Classic DK stuff, right? You get the shield, you get the shield punish immediately. Doesn't get the power shield or the parry, but still mad at the fact that you get an out of shield uh, punish. All of a sudden, Shine, despite that SD, bringing it all the way back. Oh man, you never want to give up yourself, on yourself, man. You gotta psych yourself back and gets the whip punish, and he goes for the Anaconda squeeze. He never comes back with the up B. Oh yeah, he comes back to the stage, was on the wrong side of DK that time around, trying to poke safely with these down tilts. It actually gets him out of that bad position, and Shine a little bit too scared to actually try and challenge it. Oh. The fort smash not barely coming out. Shine throwing out his own down tilts, and death? Yo, man, Shine trying to put this man in the coffin a little bit too early here. Goes for another, this could be death. Yeah, I think. Yeah. 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 I wonder if he... Probably not enough time. I was thinking, what if, what if he used his directional air <laughs> dodge? Wow. <laughs> he goes on the yeah. Apparently, Nanook is number one in UCLA. Yeah, that's what I was looking at earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I played against him one time in Smash 4, like, a long time ago. And By the way, if you guys are wondering, check out UCLA scene. Um... They, they are having a local this Friday, so is you CSUN as well. They are having both both of these tournaments. So if you live closer to the Valley area, SoCal, the 818, area, uh, CSUN local for this Friday might be more for you, but if you live towards the heart of LA, um, UCLA, the local, also for you as well. Yeah, USC also has one. Uh, I think they're bi weekly. Bi weekly, actually, yeah. yeah. So UCLA will have one week and UCLA will have the other. Oh, okay. Is that how it works? Yeah. I don't know how the college guys do it. Yeah. Okay. It's here pretty we go. good. That's what kind of like about how Fridays has turned around for collegiates. Right, they kind of have now their own tournaments play weekly, so if you don't, can't go to one, you can go to the other. Okay, we move from one uh, meta character to another. I mean, that's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have multiple characters in your back pocket, just the way uh, this game works. Like you saw that DK, the, that runoff down throw, is basically a guaranteed kill at a certain percent. Oh, he's going for it again anyway. Put him off stage, I like it. That teleport sometimes can get a little bit weird, not reliably teleport and snap to the ledge. So yeah. you can see that he's trying to get those opportunities he can to try and get the kill off of that. The dare. Oh, no, the back air. And just like I said, here. yeah, not enough space to come back. And she ain't just stands there. Well, that's kind of one of those things that you kind of understand. Like, she actually got buffed from last, pa last patch where, like, they made snapping the ledge with teleports a little bit easier. But it's still, it's got its, let's think about teleport, it's, it's, right? it still has problems. Yeah, yeah, it still has its problems. And that's what she has been able to do is call the character. Yeah. You can be the master. You can, you can main multiple characters, but the master of all is not the master of one. So that's one of those things you have to understand. Oh, I like that. I think he's, uh, well, he doesn't have sound, so he must be reacting to that little flicker yeah. to, of the explosive flame to be able to avoid it. Uh, uh, used to be a, used to be like a big noob killer tool. Now people have been figuring out how to get around it. Yeah. That's kind of one of the things in the meta, right, where you kind of understand the more you see it, the more you understand it. Yeah. And eventually the meta of itself with players do, does adapt. Yeah, there's one. There's there's two phases to the meta. There's uh, play and there's counterplay. Exactly. And that, that, was a, that was a counterplay move. And the runoff cargo down throw, that does it again. Yeah, Nanook kind of suffering at the hands of Shine's DK. Literally at the last stock already, man. Three stocks could to Shine's name. He's got no nothing to fear here, but more opportunities for advantage. Gets the full jab here. Nanook looking for that run-off run 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 run
And Nuke should be looking to stay a little bit far behind now because he does have to play the catch-up game. Oh, try to call a really high recovery. Not quite going to find out there. But Sheena, yeah, he's got three stocks to work with, and DK's a heavy character. Unless Palutena gets a nice hit, nice tilt, or an up air like that, that would be able to seal out the stock. So finally. one thing I did see in the new go for, especially the wedge, is back air, because back air has, still has super armor like it does Smash 4. Of course, if you do hit Palutena at the feet, you are able to hit it through. Down throw into forward air. No, it actually goes for the neutral air there. Yeah. I felt like neutral air is pretty good, but some things that players seem, seem to have a habit with Palutena is going for nair, and sometimes forward air could be better because it does push your opponent towards the ledge. And you have to really understand the percent on the way to where it works. That tries to go for forward air, but parry from Shine. You're looking for the upper air immediately, and Anukas pulls back air, going in for the deep, deep end. Oh no! And he got a hit, but the last hit of the up B. Okay, that. That move's pretty hard to tech, yeah, let's be is. real. Yeah. If you get caught, uh, one, it's like, oh shoot, I got caught by it. And then second, oh shoot, I have to tech one of these random hits that'll launch me into the blast yeah. or into the stage somehow. And then I have to press 